Hi beauties and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a chatty get ready with me. I'm going to talk to you guys about where I've been. I'm going to share some Amazon favorites. I'm going to use makeup from my existing collection, some new products, as well as products that were sent to me in PR. So if you'd like to find out more, then just keep watching. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for joining me for today's video. And if you're new to my channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications. That way you won't miss any of my uploads. Before I start applying my makeup, I want to mention a couple of my Amazon products because I'm getting ready to put some water in them. <laughs> I am drinking products in eight ounce increments that's kind of what i'm trying to do and i'll explain why in a moment so i was on the hunt for some eight ounce glasses and i discovered these tumblers and it is glass but it's insulated so it keeps your beverage cold these come in sets of four i have really enjoyed these little glasses the ice doesn't melt as quickly as in a regular glass so love these i will link all of these amazon products down below and this other one i think is so precious and the label is still here as you can see i'm going to take this off wash it and fill it with a cup of water but it's an eight ounce yeti it will keep you know my beverage cold and it will also prevent me from spilling this is like my favorite thing why do we like to buy things in mini sizes like as a miniature i have had a yeti before but never one it's tiny it's so cute i was able to find this on amazon so i will link it down below and i love the lavender color and of course it comes in many colors and if i forget to tell you guys what i'm using i'll link everything down below i'm gonna start with fix plus by mac cosmetics you already know love that so for primer today i'm gonna use this one from the ordinary it is the high adherence primer very very affordable you can purchase it at sephora and it's actually one of my favorites your makeup is not going to budge with this the foundation that i'm using is the viral sensation from house labs put it back in the box but i have used this this one is in the shade 415 medium deep cool i had a tough time with the shades on the website the shades are just all out of order and there's probably a reason for that but it makes it difficult for you to find your shade before i put that on one more thing to show you guys one more amazon thing because i need to go in this item to get my brushes this is a nichelle makeup organizer we traveled over the holidays i decided to whip this back out because i had a lot of makeup i wanted to test out while it was gone and what's really nice about this is it has a hanger here let's, let's turn it this way it has a hanger so if you want to hang it up while you are applying your makeup if there's somewhere to hang it then you can do that there are so many compartments so so many compartments you see here how i have used it there are compartments here there's a mesh inside of here once you open that section there are more sections so on the outside here this is one of my favorite things there's places for your brushes i love this the only thing that this doesn't have is a mirror it's really lovely and it is affordable i believe this is less than 20 dollars i haven't unpacked my travel bag so i'm gonna unpack my brushes so that i can use them today let's zoom in a little bit i'm gonna start with one pump and then i will add to that this is my sonia g jumbo base foundation brush love this so here we go looks really good it's amazing how this ends up really blending in with my skin because i honestly thought it was going to be too cool too dark it just didn't look perfect when i first swatched it but it just ends up working somehow it is still a little bit cooler but once i apply everything else it seems to come together because i can still see more yellow here than on my face but this does work pretty well i just didn't want to return it um and still have a tough time finding the exact right shade because this is pretty close 
But you guys let me know what you think when we finish. Let me know. So I just went in with like a little partial pump to try to build up in some places where I have some hyperpigmentation. And I didn't put very much on my forehead, so I want to add some more there. Right now in the mirror, it looks okay, but I also can tell it's a little off with the undertone, just a little bit. But look at how dewy and fresh my skin looks. Like, isn't this like such a beautiful finish? I'm going to use a couple of concealers. I'm going to use my Taunty doll, and I'm also going to brighten a little bit with my Givenchy Prism Libre. I probably could just wear either or. But the Taunty doll is a little deep. As you can tell here, it brightens, but it's a little bit deep. And so I like it to brighten a little bit more. So I like to go in with something else if I'm using that concealer most days. And I just think this one does a very good job of kind of starting that coverage of my dark circles. Just the smallest amount. Then I brighten with something else. And I just tend to like that finish and it it actually brightens a little bit even though it is a deeper concealer you can see that it did brighten i don't even really need to add much more do i but i'm gonna <laughs> we'll start here with the givenchy i'm just gonna add a little bit to brighten my forehead and down the center of my nose and then just a little bit to brighten Want some on the out of one there. Okay, so notice this is like much lighter. Okay, like a spotlight. It just like picks up the light so well. I'm gonna put a little bit on my chin, but not much there. This brush I'm using is a Sonia G Classic Base and. You can use this for foundation, but I'm one of these lazy makeup people that like using larger brushes for concealer so that I can move faster. So pretty. I always say it's a chat to get ready with me, and then I'm so focused on makeup that I forget to chat. This is a Givenchy powder. It is new to my collection. This is shade number four. The colors is sort of peach and green purple love this powder in the number one shade but wanted to try a different shade that was one of the reasons i wanted to also use the givenchy concealer since i knew i was using the powder okay my favorite brush for under the eye is the wayne goss the airbrush brush wayne goss might be making a comeback y'all I watched a video on his YouTube channel where I think some people are helping him kind of get his brand going again. He may be coming back. This is this really oddly shaped brush. Very soft and just great for me for applying powder in smaller places. That's how I like to use this. So I like to put it in my T-zone here. Then I'm going to take another brush. This is the powder brush. Not sure what the number is, but it's the powder brush from Chicago. And so we'll just apply the rest lightly everywhere else. Let's see if I can chat while I'm doing my brows. Maybe I can do that. New brow product from Sephora Collection. My best friend seems to love this, talks about it all the time and so i want to try it this is waterproof in medium brown so i have no idea whether i'm gonna like this but we'll try hopefully this video that i'm filming now is going to go up after my sephora haul and i mentioned that i would share with you guys more about my heart failure condition in a get ready with me so that is where i have been and i posted it on my community tab Got a few likes, but I'm just not sure how many people actually saw it on my community tab. Sometimes postings don't go out to everybody that follows me. So I'm not sure how many of you realize that. So um, heart failure is pretty 
serious. I'm learning now from one of my father's sisters that it does run in our family on my dad's side. Both my parents have had a couple of conditions with their heart, but not heart failure per se, more like blockages. Another close relative has had congestive heart failure as well. This is a nice color and it's going on pretty nicely too. And Sephora collection is affordable. So I took a break from YouTube because I got extremely sick. I thought I had a respiratory infection of some sort. I thought I was just sick with a cold. It wasn't COVID. It wasn't the flu. But I was starting to have these symptoms where I was having a difficult time breathing and coughing and just congested. I mean, I haven't known anything about heart failure, so I wouldn't have known the symptoms. So I'm sharing this because this could be somebody else's life right now, too, where they have shortness of breath and things like that. And you just think I'm just out of shape and it's not. So I have had some of these symptoms being really tired and uh, shortness of breath and, you know, difficulty climbing a flight of steps without being when did when you're there when you get to the top that kind of thing not every person who experiences that has heart failure but the shortness of breath is pretty distinct you will know if you're having a difficult time catching your breath so what i think brought this on was when i cheered at my homecoming game so that was one of my last videos i think i did my sephora recommendations right after that and i was okay when i did that recommendations video I got sick and I started taking medicine and inhaler and I started feeling a little bit better. I think I recorded that video and then the illness returned. Like I started getting sick again. And so I went back to my doctor. We thought maybe I was getting pneumonia, but she wasn't sure. So she sent me to get a chest x-ray. When I went to get the chest x-ray, that's when everything was revealed that there was some sort of heart issue. And I needed um, further test to determine what was going on. But I continued to get sicker and sicker each day. So I finally went to emergency even before those tests could be run because I was just getting where I couldn't sleep at night. I couldn't lay down. It was awful. I started getting nauseous, throwing up, um, which I think comes from. Like if your heart isn't functioning correctly, then other parts of your body aren't going to function. So my digestive system wasn't functioning properly either because of all of this. I think this is okay. This is my NARS Soft Matte and Biscuit. I'm going to shape my brows with this. The first night in the hospital, like in the emergency room before they admitted me, they did an EKG. It was a rough night. I mean, I've never felt that sick. I was just so sick. My mom came to town because I told her I needed her. I told her this wasn't getting better. And, you know, I went to the hospital, of course, and she was with me. My daughter was there. It was just bad. And um, so they admitted me based on an EKG result. And we did an echocardiogram of my heart, which is an ultrasound of the heart. And that revealed that my heart wasn't pumping at the full capacity that it was supposed to pump. And um, we did a lot of tests, tested for blockages over the course of six days when I was in the hospital. My heart wasn't pumping. The pumping was down to um, 15%, 15-20%, and it should be pumping between 50 to 65%. So that just tells you it was really bad. And that's sort of scary. This whole experience is scary. It is what it is and you start to learn to accept where you are. You just start accepting this is what it is and you've just got to try to do what you can to, to beat this. Most people, once they are diagnosed with heart failure, your heart doesn't go back to the way it was. It may improve as far as function but my understanding, and remember, I'm kind of new to this, but my understanding is once you are diagnosed with it, you just kind of keep that diagnosis. It doesn't change. 
it doesn't go away they did some more tests and i didn't have a blockage as i also have said you know i've kind of learned there's a little bit of family history there they did a genetics test and i didn't have a gene that was responsible for it but there is a little bit of family history but where we landed is stress and high blood pressure are the culprit for my heart failure. Let me go above here just really quickly a little bit to sharpen that some. That was a lot to hear. At first, it's like, okay, well, I don't have blockages. And I think my doctor was happy to hear that I didn't have blockages. But then it's like, but I'm still having heart failure. And so you're just really afraid. You get kind of afraid of the future for you, especially at my age. Like, I think I was the youngest person on my wing. I was moved to a cardiology wing, and I was like the youngest person at the time um, on the wing on this floor for heart failure. So it's not common. There are people my age and younger who have this, but it's not that common. You know, so that tells you about the stress in my life. Some of it is personal stress that I'm not going to get into. And some of it is work stress. But I have a lot of stress that I live with and it has to stop. Like I have to get control over it or I won't, you know, be here. So you got to get it under control and do things to try to not be stressed or manage it better. How are the brows looking to you guys? Look pretty good. I mean, I was a little lazy today. Did lazy brows. So I was discharged from the hospital. I'm going to use a little bit of this as my eyeshadow base. I'm going to just do this. I'm going to just swipe it. And then I'm going to use my beauty blender to blend it out for my eyes. So I was discharged from the hospital and was immediately like scheduled to go to a cardiologist. So I will be a patient of some type of cardiologist probably for the rest of my life. Had to follow up my primary as well so that she's aware of where things stand with me. It's just a big deal, like a lot to think about and consider from now on. I was told not to work. My return date to work is like two and a half months after being discharged from the hospital. However, that's like the initial return date. It may be extended. I'm not sure. I have a doctor's appointment next week and that will determine, I guess, next steps some people thought oh she's gonna be so bored at home uh no <laughs> no i have not been bored i've been working since i was 15 years old and never have had this kind of time off other than when i, I was a school teacher and so you did have t the summers off but i worked during the summer most of the time when i was a teacher so this is the first time i've had this kind of time off in years and I have done home improvement projects and I have been just taking care of myself, just doing a lot of self-care, walking at the park, uh, spending time with family, just really taking a break, taking a break. And I took a break from YouTube as well because I don't think you should be removed from your job and not working your regular job and still have the imaging time and whatnot to film videos and honestly when I first came home my energy level wasn't where it needed to be it was not normal my Sephora haul was filmed right after I returned I, I was it was shortly after I got out of the hospital I wanted to get that video filmed so that I could start using the product so maybe a week or two after and I was much more tired like very tired after I finished that day of filming but now my energy level is so much better than it was when I first came home. So I really did need to take a break from everything to work on getting better and feeling better. So now let's do eyeshadow and I'll continue to talk. I purchased the Zero Two Cherry Smoke palette from Tom Ford. And the very first one I received, I purchased it online and when it was shipped to me guys, this one here, I don't know if you guys can see it, was broken. And I used the old alcohol trick and if you don't know this little trick let me tell you if you have a broken eyeshadow like the shimmer especially i haven't tried it on a matte before that's because most of the time when an eyeshadow breaks in my palettes it's always a shimmer never a matte but um if you put uh, rubbing alcohol 
in the pan and just use a little spatula brush or something your finger and just kind of press it down you can save the shadow so i did that tried to return it in store they didn't carry it in store so i couldn't return it in store they told me to contact online where i purchased it i was like oh but it worked out because i did a chat on sephora's website and told them that this was broken they just told me to discard it and this is like a, I think a $90 eyeshadow palette. They just told me to discard it and they would send me another one. You know, I wasn't going to discard it, <laughs> but they were going to send me another one because this was broken. It like was coming out of the pan. Eventually it did fall out and I was able to put it back in before I fixed it. I have tried this eyeshadow palette and this was the one I tried because I was waiting for the new one to be shipped to me. And it does come in like a little white pouch. I just wanted to tell you guys, if your eyeshadow breaks, make sure you contact your com the company, whoever, because I've had Pat McGrath send me an eyeshadow palette after one of the shadows broke in that one, and now they have two. In both cases, they didn't ask me to send it back. So this is the new one, and we're going to use that one today. So you guys know I live between two homes. I'm going to take one, probably the broken one, to my work home, and I will keep the not broken one here and it comes in a white pouch too this is the new one here Ta -da! that is not broken so let's take off the plastic it comes with a couple of little eyeshadow brushes that I don't use and this is what the palette looks like okay so let's whip together a little eyeshadow look here I wanted to try my ethereal eyes as well. I have the makeup by Mario ethereal eyes. So maybe we'll figure out a way to use this today. We're going to use this as the transition shade. The one thing about using these quads is it's a no brainer, like how to use the palette. So if you're a person who is intimidated by large palettes, if you buy these quads, and especially if you're smart in how you purchase it, like you look for shimmer, look for the right types of mattes. You can do a complete eyeshadow look and not be as intimidated by the process, by the palette itself. So that's the one benefit. And this, I'm just applying it to the crease and sort of sweeping it back and forth. On an everyday kind of basis, you could just sweep that one color everywhere. Put on some liner and mascara and go. Okay, I'm going to also go in with this next shade. I want to try to use all of them. And I'm going to put this in the crease. And I'm using, like this is a Wayne Goss brush. These are my Sonya G brushes. I think this is the crease brush. And I'm just going to add some dimension here. I told you I was going to tell you why I'm drinking water in 8 ounce increments. I can only have 64 ounces of liquid in a day now because of my heart failure. With congestive heart failure, my understanding, remember I'm new to this, so I may not explain it well, but if you consume a lot of liquids and retain a lot of fluids, like you know how we always talk about the water peel, taking a water peel, that's to get fluid off your body. Um, I now have to do that from time to time, but if you retain fluid, your heart has a difficult time keeping it pumping that fluid, moving that fluid through your body and out of your body, and it could lead to the congestion around the heart and the lungs if you have too much liquid that you're holding on to. So now for the rest of my life, as far as I know, I have to stick to this 64 ounce beverage restriction the easiest way for me to kind of count and keep up with it is in eight ounce increments because i can have eight of these isn't that smart i think it is you could also do it in 16 ounce increments but i don't tend to drink 16 ounces at one time so that's sort of my strategy and it's been working it's kind of you've never thought of yourself as a person who is supposed to limit how much you drink but that's my new life and I'm just a fighter. I'm like, okay, I got to come out swinging and I got to figure out a way to make this work and make it easy for me to remember what I'm supposed to be doing. 
And that's when I came up with the eight ounce trick. <laughs> I'm gonna soften this a little bit around these edges with my original brush. And then we'll do the other eye. I've been talking away guys and haven't been recording. And I don't have a clue when I stopped. <laughs> I don't know what was the last thing I said to you. So I'm gonna repeat some of what I said. Another thing that I can't do is eat salt. I have to stay under 2000 milligrams of salt. And just to give you guys an idea, table salt, I believe is like it's over 6,000 milligrams for like a tablespoon. So I can't add salt to my food. I've been home preparing my meals and not adding salt and using a lot of Mrs. Dash. So that's another lifestyle change that I'm experiencing. And I know I'm talking about this a lot, but it's it's my reality. This is a Chicago brush. It's, I don't know the number, but I love these little Chicago eyeshadow brushes are nice. I'm going to use that one for my lid here. Just a lot, of, lot to consider for myself lately. A lot of changes. And I really did need this time off from work to focus on learning how to do all of this. I'm encouraged to exercise and do as much as I'm able to do. So I've been doing a lot of walking and kind of building up, building up. And now I'm able to walk almost two miles, which is good without being winded or tired. And um, really, I need to exercise to build and strengthen my heart as much as possible. So I'm doing that. And I am managing my blood pressure and treating my heart condition with medication so after they diagnosed me that was my treatment plan was medication would be able to manage this so that's what we're doing that's what we're doing hey that's pretty that's gonna look really pretty once i line my lids and everything but this is what it looks like with just the tom ford palette but i want to add some of the ethereal and I'm going to clean this up in a little bit. It's going to look much better in a second. Those of you who have been with me a while, you know how I do. You know how we do these. Okay. <laughs> so that's the top one. Then we have this. Oh, I like that. They're very similar. I like this one. That was the second shade I swatched. They're different colors, but very similar. So let's try this one here. That's that second shade. I'm going to kind of put pop this on the inner corner and see how I like it. I'm not going to put too much because I might not like it on top. Ooh. Ooh. That did add a little punch. I'm trying to kind of blend it in with the red. Not don't want to take it over. Just blend it in some. Wow, look at the difference that that made. Like, look at this one and look at this one. Oh my goodness, that's amazing. Let's blend this a little right here. It got a little, it got away from me here. But that's really pretty. Oh, and that's this shade. It's reminding me of. This reminds me of the Urban Decay Space Cowboy. Um, I think that's the shade everybody kind of went crazy over for a while there. Again, like it's been out, but um, people discovered it and started TikToking about it. <laughs> and uh, But I've had one for a while. I have an old one. And that's what this looks like, sort of like Space Cowboy does. It has that little shimmer. Oh my goodness, wow. This palette was limited edition. You can still get your hands on it. You might want to. That is really pretty. Oh my goodness, I just keep going in on it. I'm going in. I'm going in. <laughs> and I'm going to go hard. And I'm going to go hard. Um, corners to be deeper than they are. Let's see if this can build up a little bit. Yeah, just building up the corners here. Just packing it on instead of blending a lot to get that deep corner that I'm looking for. Oh, yes. 
and I'll just touch this up with a little powder here. And that's how you clean it up. Okay, got something else new. I don't know how new this is. I hope that it hasn't dried up on me. I was sent this a long time ago and I was not interested in this type of lash adhesive for applying lashes. I just wasn't interested in it. I was sent this from Influencer. Now I'm going to go ahead and give it a go because I want to throw away the box. It's been sitting in my room here and I want to get rid of it. <laughs> we can do it. We can do it. So my camera audio finally gave out on me. So I'm going to voice over this part of the video. So here I am using a new liquid liner that is a lash adhesive and it is from NYX. And I am also applying a pair of jumbo lashes also from NYX. I'm using my bullseye lash applicator that you can get from Sephora. The one thing that I do wish is I wish I had gone back over my liner with my regular liner to make that a little bit more sharp because I had to move quickly because this is actually glue it is lash adhesive so you have to move fast so it can be a little bit sloppy but I did like the product now you see me applying my mascara this is the benefit bad gal bang mascara I really have been enjoying this mascara lately it has become one of my holy grails I'm also applying my liner from Laura Geller and I'm going to step off camera and apply my mascara to my lower lashes. So now I am just dusting on a little bit of powder and kind of just touching up a little bit because that took a while. I went on to tell a story about the necklace that I'm wearing. This was actually gifted to me from my aunt on my dad's side. It belonged to my grandmother and it was a necklace that my grandfather gave my grandmother in the 60s. So I was really happy that she was sweet enough to send this to me as a gift. She wanted me to have that. So I was showcasing it in today's video. Now I'm moving on to cream contour. This is an oldie but goodie. It is from Fenty and it is in the shade Truffle. It's actually very warm and could serve as a cream bronzer too. And I'm going to blend that out on my nose using my Sigma brush. I'm just going to continue to add additional product until I am satisfied with the result. Next, I'm going to move on to blending out the contour product on my forehead as well as on my cheeks and my chin. And it took me a little bit of time to get it to blend out. I don't know if it's because I spent so much time on my nose, but the brush is fairly soft. This one is from Sonya G and it just took a while to get me to blend it out, but we got there eventually and it is still a beautiful product. Now I'm moving on to the Snake Palette from Hourglass. This is a holiday palette and I really wanted this palette because I wanted to see if this bronzer was deep enough for my skin tone and it is a beautiful color bronzer. I absolutely love every product in this palette. I'm going to use it throughout this video and I'm not sure if it's available any longer. I recently saw that it was still available on Hourglass's website. So you may want to try it there. I will link it down below if I'm able to find it. Now moving on to these products from Charlotte Tilbury. That is the Pink Gasm and the other shade that I have is in Spotlight. Both of them are technically highlighting products but I'm kind of using this as a base before applying my blush because I felt like this would be a product that could be worn as blush if worn by itself and give you a little flush of color while also adding a glow and you really could wear these liquid products by themselves without powder products but I am going to top everything in a moment with powder as well. I did want to show you guys the wand it's kind of messy and that's the one thing about this packaging is it's really easy to squeeze too much out so just be careful with it if you end up getting this so now i'm applying the spotlight product and i'm applying it as highlighter and as you can tell it gives you a nice subtle highlight but if you continue to build it up it's really easy to go overboard as i just did 
right there. <laughs> but it's really easy to correct it. I'm just going to go over everything with my Beauty Blender to just soften that highlight. Now, as you can tell, I really could stop there with blush and highlighter, but I really wanted to try the other products in the Hourglass palette. So I am going to just swoop my brush over all of the blush colors and top it over my liquid products. And it just adds a little bit more color. I just love how very natural and glowy the Hourglass blushes are. And now I have decided to try out some highlighters. First, I'm trying this new highlighter from Anastasia Beverly Hills, and I love it. And I also purchased one from Tom Ford, and I'm going to apply that on the other side, and I love that one as well. They are both beautiful and quite similar. I think that the Tom Ford shade is a little uh, more white than the other shade by Anastasia that one seems to be a little more gold on the cheek but they virtually look practically the same if you purchase Anastasia you can save a little bit of money of course the Tom Ford product is a little bit more expensive so now I'm just kind of mixing the two so that my face <laughs> looks consistent and I am applying the Tom Ford down the center of my face I honestly like both products i think i still reach for tom ford more probably because i spent more on it i definitely got to use it but i like them both and here i'm just taking my brush with no additional product and just sort of blending the blush and the highlighter together i'm using my bronzer brush to just sort of kind of blend everything together as well as my beauty blender i just want to make it look as seamless as possible now I'm going to move on to lips. I'm going to use my Victoria Beckham lip liner in number five. It has quickly become my favorite lip liner. It is a little bit pricey. However, when you apply it to your lips, it just lasts all day. I'm going to first test out one of my Buxom shades that was sent to me in PR. I believe this shade is Sugar, but I will link it down below. I just wanted to try it on so that you guys could see these lip glosses in action. I wasn't able to show you guys these products during the holidays, but I wanted to do my due diligence and show you the lip glosses and just kind of refresh my memory because I think I have actually had this shade before or something similar, but it is absolutely beautiful. But I have another lip product that I also need to try out. So I am going to take this one off and I am going to move on to my PR package from Lawless in just a moment. So I was super excited when I was contacted by Lawless to test out some of their products. This is the Cherry Vanilla Collection and it comes with a lip balm and gloss as well as an overnight lip plumping mask. And oh my goodness, you're gonna see, just, just hold on, you're gonna see. So I've lined my lips with the Victoria Beckham number no. five again and I'm applying the balm and I really love the color of this balm. Even though it's a cherry color, it just adds the right amount of color to your lips. It's just perfect and I actually said it in the video. And both of these products, or I think all of them, are meant to be a smoothing product and smooth the lip lines. So it's really great for my aging lips that have more lines in them. So I really do love it. So here I'm kind of switching back to make sure I don't forget to highlight my inner corners. And I decided to also try out the lip gloss and to top my lip balm with the gloss. I was really fascinated with the doe foot. It almost looks like a little baby footy or something but I really like the way that doe foot cups your lip and the gloss is really really beautiful and again both the shade of the balm as well as the gloss are just beautiful I really like it and it was very comfortable to wear both products they also both smell like cherry so now I'm going to move back to my hourglass palette I'm using this finishing powder I think it's the ambient powder and it adds a glow all over so I'm telling you guys if you can get your hands on either this palette or another one like it or whenever it comes out for the holidays again they're just worth their weight in gold you can just use them to do a complete makeup look I love it and here I'm doing what I always do I'm going back and using my buffing brush to just buff out any harsh lines this just really makes the entire look come together 
so now i'm going to apply setting spray this one is one by mac cosmetics it is fix plus stay over so you're going to see that this particular bottle the spray nozzle applies too much product i usually spray the same way that i'm spraying now and my entire face is not saturated when i use other products so there's something not quite right with that one and i'm not sure if it's just my bottle or if it's all of them because that's my first time trying it after this video i did transfer the product into another bottle that i purchased from amazon but they do get it right with the fix plus so i don't know what's up with that hmm. i still like the product so five hours later not really but anyway it took a while for the product to dry and it did dry quite dewy I used a powder brush just to kind of go over the t-zone to make sure it wasn't too dewy and that was it so after filming all of this I realized that my microphone wasn't working so I went back and filmed my outro so we're gonna move back into me actually talking starting with finishing up my Amazon products a couple more Amazon products that I want to mention one is this collagen i have this on it just to keep make sure it stays closed this is a collagen peptides powder and it's from native path my mom turned me on to this she has been using it because it supports your joints we have knee pain it must be a family thing on my mom's side because several of us receive cortisone shots in our knees and have joint pain <laughs> i'm one of them and probably me cheering all those years did not help me but this helps support your bones joints skin hair nails and digestion there's a scooper inside here where you just scoop this into a hot or cold beverage the reviews said that the hot beverage is better so i use it in my hot coffee it doesn't have a flavor you can use one or two scoops per day of this product and I can tell a difference in my knees. And I actually think my skin is looking better and my hair is looking better. Also have like a skin issue that I mentioned to you guys. That's an autoimmune issue that I have. I'm using a steroid to help with that and hoping it will go away. It may go away in a few years, they say. But since I have been using this, I have been itching less and that has been feeling better too it seems to be improving and this is supposed to be good for your skin so i will be continuing to use this and it's by native path i purchased a new makeup vanity mirror in my beauty room and i do have footage that i filmed with my iphone of the mirror that i'm going to insert here i had one previously from europe back when i purchased the mirror they had one there it was affordable and i was able to get it shipped here that company no longer sells that mirror or even sells to the us any longer and i got it when i first started my channel well the bulbs started to die on that mirror it's led bulbs and i could not get the bulbs in the us that would match the mirror because it was a european mirror and then i did some research and i don't even think they make the bulbs anymore in europe and so my bulbs were dying one at a time it was driving me crazy and i couldn't find bulbs to work so i just said why am i still fooling with this it cost about 140 dollars at the time and i'm like why am i still messing with this mirror so i just took it down and found one on amazon that was the size i wanted the height i wanted and i will definitely link that mirror down below if you're interested in it because it is a larger mirror and it's larger than the one i had it has a magnifying piece on it if you want to see like your pores or pimples <laughs> or apply your lashes or something there are three settings it has a natural warm and cool light setting and it also dims and it's touch screen and one of the things i really like about it is there is a USB port on the side so I can charge my phone while sitting at my vanity and I did not have that feature before so I really like it the bulbs on this mirror are stationary and they can't be replaced that's the one drawback it is an LED bulb so it should last a while but it can't be replaced I have accepted that when the bulbs start to die I will have to replace the entire mirror and that's okay because it was less than $150 for 
for the entire mirror so I hope that it will last me several years before I have to buy another one so that has been a lovely find I love to use the natural setting that's been my favorite but it's been great in some ways I have less room on my vanity because it's longer it's a larger wider mirror and in some ways I have more because it is not it's not taking up as much space this way so it's deeper now I have more space on the vanity in some other way so that has been fantastic let me do a rundown really quickly of everything that you just saw me apply on my face and what I'm thinking about it the first new product for me is this house labs foundation this one is in 415 medium cool I'm not sure about the shade <laughs> I love this foundation though the foundation is gorgeous. I have combination skin. I am oily in my T-zone. And that's one of the reasons I hesitated to purchase this foundation was I wasn't sure if it would work for me. But I went ahead and, and decided to try it because a lot of people have been talking about how great it is. It is a very skin care infused type of foundation. I haven't recently read the description of the foundation, but I believe that it is because I think it has skin tech in the name and it looks great on the skin. It is beautiful. It's so youthful looking like it doesn't settle in my fine lines where I have most of my wrinkles are here. Like I see more in my smile line area and chin. It does a really good job of providing foundation coverage without looking makeup-y. And like I don't really see wrinkles and things like that on my forehead. Of course, my skincare routine is helping with that. But this looks amazing to me. This looks really, really pretty on the skin. I was very skeptical and throughout the video, I kind of talked about whether this is the right color for me but I think it's very very close I may go in store and try to test out some other shades to see if I can find a little bit better undertone but I think that this is pretty good the concealer this isn't new but I don't know that I've tried it on on my channel for you guys I have on the Lancome concealer which is always a great one I love this concealer this is my second time buying it it is fantastic love that concealer but it's not always as bright as I like and this one is brighter I know that the majority of this kind of beautiful creaminess that I'm seeing under my eye is this particular concealer because it is a skin caring concealer and it just gives you this really creamy under eye it gives you perfect under eyes it's gorgeous. Well, I really love the Prism Libre concealer. Fantastic. This powder is gorgeous. I love the Givenchy powder. This is my first time trying this color and I was hesitant because I wasn't sure if it was going to look too dark or give me that brightening effect, but I really like it. It looked great under the eye as well as all over. It is a beautiful powder and I look forward to continuing to try it with different foundations. It's a little bit pricey, so it's great if you can get it when it's on sale, but I love that powder. I want to say it's my favorite. It used to be Laura Mercier. I love Huda as well, the Huda powder, but uh, this might be my favorite. I have this Cherry Smoke eyeshadow palette from Tom Ford. I really like this palette. This is a 90 dollar I think eyeshadow palette and you don't have to spend ninety dollars to get this really simple eyeshadow look that you see me wearing right now. I had to switch my SD card so I wanted something different than the Della Creme that I have so this is only my second Tom Ford eyeshadow palette. Tom Ford eyeshadows are pretty pricey for what you get if you want like a spectacular palette that just has so many options you can get that for less from other brands but these are really nice to have. It's just a luxury item that's nice to have. It's a quad. It takes the thought out of eyeshadow. The formula is very easy to use, easy to work with. It will definitely create a beautiful cherry or red kind of smoky eye. I think that I look forward to kind of trying this with some one and dones because sometimes I really just want you know, throw something in my crease and you can just do this brown and just throw it in your crease and leave the house that day. You don't really have to do much. Or you can use the shimmer probably all by itself as well. I do like it as a beautiful luxury item. I also have a little bit of the Makeup by Mario Ethereals palette on. Just one shade is on my eye and I love that. It reminds me of Urban Decay Space Cowboy. 
fit is so viral. Um, I think this shade here looks a lot like it. So I'm looking forward to testing out other shades in this palette. Can't wait to wear it. It's a neutrals palette. I know I'm going to love it. And it was limited edition, but they brought it back. So I'm not sure if you can still get it. I hope you can. But I think that this is probably one to add to your collection if you don't have it. it it's kind of nice. The one shadow I tried was nice. <laughs> I tried on these two products from Charlotte Tilbury, Spotlight and Pink Gasm. And oh my gosh, I love these. This was a beautiful highlight that you could build up. It could be very subtle. You can make it more spectacular if you wanted to. And this added such a gorgeous like flush to the cheeks with a glow without looking over the top. It was gorgeous by itself. So I applied this alone and then went back over with powder products, but this is great. I love this snake palette from Hourglass. I don't know if these holiday palettes are still available, but I don't mind showing you kind of what you can do with the palette like this because they do these every year. So if you didn't get this one and you can't get your hands on it now, be on the lookout for these next year because the hourglass palettes like this are just wonderful to add to your collection because there's so much versatility when i have these this is my second one i can do my blush my highlighter and you can even this is a finishing powder you can do all of that your bronzer with one palette and that is great sometimes when you're in a hurry or when you're traveling it's wonderful and this one is gorgeous for people who have deeper skin tones. The highlighters that I have on today, I tried two in today's video. One was the Anastasia highlighter and I think it really is a great option <laughs> if you want to buy a highlighter. It kind of is reminding me of the Omrizi as far as the texture and so forth, but I have them both on my cheeks. I started out with Tom Ford over here and um the Anastasia over here, they look very similar on. So you don't have to buy the Tom Ford. You can buy this one for less, but they are a little bit dif different in color. This seems to be a little bit more golden, but they both are spectacular on the cheeks. They both kind of give you that wet look. They are both great. Love these. Love them. Would recommend that, definitely. Really like this NYX product. Hate it took me so long to try it. Can't wait to try it with other lashes because I'm sure this will work with any lash that you try on. You have to move fast though, but it is very quick. So I do like that I can apply my lashes very quickly. Love the Lawless products that I have on my lips right now. We'll definitely put this one in my purse. There's a smaller one of these in the package. That may make it into the purse as well, but we'll definitely use these. I love the doe foot on this. This is great on this gloss. Love that doe foot. And I can't wait to try the lip mask that came in the PR package because I love a good lip mask at nighttime. So that has been wonderful. The Buxom glosses, also very good. Have used those before. The brow pencil that I use today is this Sephora Collections brow pencil. My best friend raves about this and this is really good as well. Enjoyed it. I love the color and it is for collection. It's affordable. Whenever they have a sale, Sephora Collection is 30% off. So I will definitely pick these up during the sale because it is a great price. Love that. The last new product that I tried on was this MAC Fix Plus Stay Over setting spray i really like how my makeup looks right now it gave me a really dewy finish like it was dewy even after it dried down the nozzle sprays like a single spray and it makes your face really wet as a result it doesn't go on like a mist so that's the only drawback to this product is you need a mist i may even need to like put it in another bottle so that i can get the best use out of this it doesn't seem to be a bad setting spray. It just has a not so great packaging and I'm not sure if it's just mine or if it's all of them. I don't like when my face is drenched when I apply a setting spray. However, my final look was really nice. I did feel like I needed to powder a little bit in the T-zone because I felt like it was a little too dewy, but it does seem to hold your makeup very comfortably. Like I, my face feels very comfortable right now. It doesn't feel like it's like locked in. It feels good. So thank you guys so much for your patience with today's video. We're gonna do better the next time. We're not gonna have any sound issues. I look forward to filming more videos for you guys in the new year. If you stay with me until the end of this video, how about leave a cherry in the comments down below to represent my cherry smoke eyes as well as my cherry vanilla collection from Lawless that I have on my lips. 
If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and I will respond. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button before you leave. So I'll be seeing you guys again very soon in my next video. So until the next time we meet again, this is Savvy signing out.